What are you doing? Where's my hot chocolate? I left it right here. Oh my gosh, man. I left it right here. I can't do nothing without this hot chocolate. I need my hot chocolate, man. Where is it? My gosh. I get you a cup of hot cocoa later. After you tell the news. And you're right about that. After I tell this daggone news, you better have my hot chocolate ready, simmer, and I want it 110 degrees. Nice hot and nice and chocolate. I'm pissed off right now. Anyway, welcome back to Four Faces. I'm a little agitated, as you can see. Cannon Owens. Yeah, let's talk about the news. Cannon Owens, she came on. She Twittered some nonsense about, oh, Juneteenth is ghettoish. It's not a real holiday. Blah, 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 blah. Something's wrong with her. She must realize she's black. I think she forgot. I know she's married to a European, which doesn't matter. But obviously for her, she forgot who she was. I guess she did. She must don't know. And just in case you don't know who Ken Owens is, she's a, she represents the Republican Party. She spills a lot of things of various Republican stations. And I'm not saying Republicans are like this. I'm just saying this is what she do for a living. She's one of those type of people that have all this stuff on uh, announcements and and go to Republican uh, you know conferences and stuff like that. That's what she does for them. So that's what it's all about. But she's ridiculous. She's silly, and she needs to learn this lesson. And let me tell you something. Why she don't say nothing with all the other holidays come out? The Jews have their holiday. The Muslims have their holiday. Why she ain't criticizing those? I mean, slavery is real. I mean, I don't know why she even tweet tweet whatever she you know the stupidness that she tweeted. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, in other news, Quincy Jones, man, y'all, he's 90 years old. He got sick, man. He got sick from what? Food poison. Unbelievable. I mean, yo, he maybe went out and ordered some Mickey D's or something because he was in his house. I'm like, you know, at that age, I think, you know, at that age with that type of money, I think this guy should be eating, you know, only food from chefs. You know what I'm saying? Like, eat properly. You know, I mean, maybe the maybe the a Trump thing and has some McDonald's. I don't know, but let me just be on the on the serious side though. You gotta be careful what you eat. You gotta be careful because people don't what they don't wash their hands. And I know your mom told you that, your grandma told you that as well. Don't eat from everybody, and it's true. Even from those people that so called chefs and all that, if they don't wash their hand, if they don't prepare the food, don't eat it. It's simple as that. Don't eat it. How as simple as that? You know, I mean, I got sick once before too. And let me tell you something. I got sick of going to the movies and eating popcorn. Can you imagine that? I eat popcorn. I got sick from eating popcorn. <laughs> it's crazy. So be careful out there. This is Four Faces. Until next time, we'll talk.